on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of India's independence. Anita Bose, the daughter of late Netaji, of late Subhash Chandra Bose, has renewed the demand, a very, very long pending demand of having the ashes of Netaji back in India. Anita Bose is now joining us. Thank you so much for your time. Today, in fact, you've spoken out once again, reiterating your demand, a long pending one that the government of India do much more than what they have in terms of facilitating the return of the yashas of Netaji back to India. What are your expectations? I certainly hope that uh, before I pass away, and I'm almost 80 now, so that is not that far into the future uh, that I can sort of get closure on the issue and uh, can bring my uh, father's remains back to India because even though he did not live to, uh, to experience independence, at least that would be a certain gratification for him to have his remains returned to India. You know, Anita Vosa, what has the government of India's position been in terms of the local standi to then approach Japan and say that the ashes be brought back? Well, I have a feeling that for many years, uh, to some extent, both governments, the Indian and the Japanese, <clears throat> have sort of <coughs> uh, dilly-dallied around it and were feeling a bit uncomfortable with it. The Japanese did not want to sort of push the Indian government and the Indian government did not want to insult the Japanese government because the Japanese have always been convinced that uh, the remain Renko were my fathers. And uh, in India there had been some doubt. There may have been different reasons in the past why uh, governments were hesitant to do anything. But I guess essentially it was the disagreement on the issue or the uncertainty uh, that made it uh, a difficult issue for a government because ultimately politicians will do what is um, useful for them in a particular situation. And um, since there was disagreement on that issue, there was nothing for, for a government to mm. be gained. So I hope that uh, eventually so much time has passed uh, that um, it, is, it is the memory of Netaji and uh, the respect for him that will sort of carry the day. Anita, was my last question to you. At the very outset, you said that you're 80 and this really is your last wish, you know, to see the remains come back again, it has been done. You would want the rituals to be carried out as per the Hindu tradition? Imagine a situation, I mean, this is a uh, hypothetical situation, if the ashes were to come back, what would uh, you do? Of course, as you know, Netaji was a devout mm -hmm. Hindu himself, but as you also know, uh, he was a person who had high uh, respect for all other religions as well, and in the Indian National Army, uh, people of different uh, religious background were working together uh, in a, a comradely and friendly fashion. So, um, as a Hindu, I would say a Hindu, uh, uh, some form of Hindu ritual uh, would be appropriate. On the other hand, uh, I think this should not be sort of a Hindu national uh, nationalist uh, hmm. uh, act because this is not what Netaji was. I mean, as a politician, he he was in favor of a secular state, and uh, as a as a religious person, he he was a person who respected other religions and uh, we have to keep in mind that in his whole political work uh, he was always very attentive to other religious groups, uh, Muslims and Sikhs and other groups and uh, the last thing uh, I would want to have, have him put in a in a corner of, of, of a Hindu nationalist excluding uh, Muslims and, and, and Sikhs and right. other countries. Of course, India does have a very unhappy history, um, on a relatively recent history uh, with regard to that. Um, I mean, the fact that independence uh, was bought at the price of bloodshed of hundreds and thousands of Indians, Indians who killed Indians, uh, was not uh, anything that Netaji would have been uh, proud of and was not anything that Gandhiji mm. uh, was in fact proud of. Uh, Gandhiji was killed by a 
Hindu nationalist. And uh, maybe if Netaji had been around in 1947, the same thing might have happened to him because he, after all, would have stood up against um, communal yes. conflict and against communal violence very strongly, uh, oh. just as strongly as, as Mahatma Gandhi did. Right. Anita Bose, thanking you so much for joining us and sharing your views with us. You've reiterated your demand once again that a DNA test be done and the ashes be brought back and that indeed is going to be the full closure for you and your family. Anita thank Bose, you and thank you. 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 Th